It's like Tuesday morning. Rex is trying to get me to get diarrhea bum. <laughs> and welcome to my vlog. Like seriously guys, he's trying to get me to go for a cheeseburger picnic. I'm, I'm the one who's being the good guy here. And he's like, no, we're gonna go cheeseburger picnic. And I'm like, no. He's like, yeah. And I won't do it. What? What's that? <laughs> what are you doing? Just a downwind. <laughs> oh! I think I thought I shit myself a lot. Well, I do. <laughs> but Jesus. <laughs> Hmm. You're gonna freaking waste time here getting shit here. Let's go get your cheeseburger picnic now. No. And I'll join you for a picnic. No. Oh. Not allowed. Oh. The YouTubers keep telling me I'm fat. I'm Do not it. allowed. Do it. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. I'll join you. No. Do it. No. I'll get fat with you. No. Come on. I'm not allowed. Fatter, sir. <laughs> what was the comment you made on the, yesterday or when we were out in Sudbury about watching videos from last year and this year? What was that comment you made? Oh fuck! Did we ever gain weight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gained a lot of weight, buddy. <laughs> So cheeseburger picnic doesn't really uh, fit the bill. <laughs> We're not allowed cheeseburger picnics anymore. <laughs> it's the way she goes. It's like Tuesday morning or afternoon. Girlfriend wants to go for lunch. Gonna meet her at the mall. So let's rock out now. We already opened the vlog, so frigate, let's go. Yeah, she just wants to go to the mall food court. So we'll meet her there. Go for I don't know what I'm. I just woke up. Literally, I'm not really that hungry. My brain is still trying to uh, realize that it's awake. So I figure uh, go to the food court, have a bite to eat, and then go to the post office, check the mailbox, go to the reserve, get cigarettes, and then go home. Uh, last night I did a let's play with uh, Crazy Logie played some Left 4 Dead 2. It was friggin' awesome. I didn't die this time, thank God. Uh, last time we played, I forgot to fraps it, and um, I died right at the end. We were doing the mall run, where you had to uh, basically get to the mall, collect all the gasoline, fuel up the car, and then drive on out of there. And uh, sure enough, as we were collecting the gasoline, I got bum-rushed by a tank. Nobody was around to help me. It just pinned me down and beat the ever-loving shit out of me. And then I died. So, yeah, it sucked. But I'm not sure how many more Let's Plays of that we can do. Like, me and Logie teaming up to do it. Because, um, he's basically moving out real soon. Like, he's moving out of his house and he's basically going to be freaking... I don't know where the hell he's going, but he doesn't really have a place lined up for the time being. So, I don't know if he was joking or not, but he said he's probably going to be living in his van. Well, that's kind of brutal. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. And uh, go from there. And I know Bill's T-Max has a copy of, uh, of the game. The problem is, is like we play it so late at night because I don't really play during the day. I'm, I'm busy vlogging and stuff doing getting my shit done during the day I guess we could play on the weekend sometime but like my weekends are usually chock full of activities too so it's really hard for us to get together and play ah well we'll uh, figure something out but yeah we're gonna I got some let's play videos I got one actually I'm gonna try and put up today there's definitely something wrong with the internet that DNS changer I know they had to turn off a bunch of routers due to the virus and because of that, it's causing a lot of latency issues with uploading to YouTube. Like, last night when I was uploading, it was literally... Normally I can push a video up pretty quick. And it was going in, in like bursts. Like I would send up... It was going, it would hit 25%, and then it sat there and it just sat there for like 5 minutes doing nothing. Then all of a sudden it went again and it hit like 45% and it just sat there doing nothing. And then it just crawled the rest of the way. So... There is definitely something going on with YouTube. Well, not with YouTube, I shouldn't say that. There's definitely something going on with the internet. Some people are saying that they're doing packet sniffing on every every packet that gets sent out. I don't know quite about that, but that could be. 
<laughs> okay, we're at the mall now, so I'm gonna go do this shit. And then I'll come out and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So peace out. Oh, frig yeah, tubes. I'm on the cheeseburgers. I'm on the cheeseburgers big time. Now nah, they're really small. Alrighty. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. So yeah, you saw my little burgers. They're cute. And yeah, we got a letter to the P.O. box. Pretty sweet. So we'll go home and crack into that and see who it's from. But first, I need cigarettes. So we'll see about getting the frig out of here. Oh, this car's amazing turning radius. I tell you. So yeah, we'll go to that reserve and get some cigarettes. We just waited to walk around the mall after we ate. I had those little slider burgers and my girlfriend had the uh, teen burger. Freaking love AW. Teen burgers are great, but I saw the little sirloin sliders. I was like, frig yeah, I'm gonna try that. It looks epic. Let's do it. So I did it. I did it and had me a burger. I did it. Tastes so freaking good. Oh, I know. You guys hate it when I sing. My girlfriend's going to pick strawberries tonight. Strawberries. Gonna go to Leisure Farms and pick some strawberries. So, I'll have some strawberries at the house. Take those in my lunch, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. It's one thing I hate about getting up and then eating right away. I'm never hungry when I first get up, right? It takes me about an hour for my stomach to realize that it wants food. So if I eat right away, I get like major indigestion and stuff. That's why I figured the slider burgers would be a good little something to break the fast. But uh, no, no, my stomach is freaking mad at me right now. Oh well, it'll pass. Yeah, so we went to the future shop and checked out all the new computers and then I went to the P.O. box and got my mail. When I get home I'm going to try and shovel a Left 4 Dead playthrough up on the uh, YouTubes and see if that takes. Here's friggin' hoping. I wonder if this guy actually wants to turn. Nah. <sighs> well, it's one o'clock now, so still got two and a half hours where I gotta go to work. Nope, this guy just has a signal light on for funsies. Either that or he has his four-way flashers on and he's got a burnt out tail light. Alright, I just really See I'm having fun with that gaming channel. I'm glad the uh, guys at TGN told me to start one up. I forgot how much fun playing video games can be. I completely forgot. Well, I shouldn't say that because I was playing a lot of video games with Logie back in the day. We'd play a lot of Minecraft and other things, and it was kind of fun, but. Oh, man. Well, there's a Camaro for sale to my right. Uh, white, I'd say maybe a 95. 93 to 95 series. <laughs> oh, good yawn, Adam. Holy crap, I hate waiting at lights. Should have went straight. Figured I'd take the scenic route instead of being on the highway. That was dumb of me. Ah, we'll go pick up some death darts and then we'll go home. Should be fun. Go that scruffy puppy whoppy out. Fluffy scruffy puppy whoppy. Even though I cleaned up that mouse, he's still trying to get to where the carcass was. It's pretty gross. It's like, there's nothing there, but he insists on going there to like, probably lick the cobble where it like was laying or something. Or he's gonna roll in the mouse's dead juices or something. I don't know. Friggin' dog's dick. Oh my god. I would've went straight, I'd be at the reserve already. Huh. Oh, Genesis. I find the front end of the new Genesis looks like an angry clown. Fast little cars though. Either get the four cylinder turbo or the V6. And they're both pretty quick. From what I was told, the four-cylinder turbo in a Genesis is uh, literally a Mitsubishi uh, turbo engine. 
So apparently some people were doing the Frankenstein mod where they're taking the head off the uh, Genesis engine and putting the head from the Mitsubishi uh, rally yard, I think it was, and they're getting like another 40 horse out of their Genesis. I already thought they were pretty quick when I took one out for a rip, but uh, they can get quicker. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, when I bought this, I shopped around a lot, looked at a bunch of things, and I don't know why I went with this, honestly. I test drove a bunch of other cars, and for some reason I went with this thing. It's not a bad car, the G6, you know, it gets the job done, it's okay on gas, but, you know, if I would've went with, like, the Genesis, I probably would've been happier, because it's a lot more car for what you get. I just didn't like Hyundai's service schedule. Prize of 300, I don't, I don't think I was too hot on the color because it was like toothpaste blue. I don't know who in their right mind would have bought that color, but I didn't really care for it. It wasn't a it wasn't a nice color, but it had like the sunroof and the all-wheel drive and all that, and I was like kind of tempted to pick that up. Peppy as frig, like, it only had the 3.5 liter high output, but man, when you got on her, she took off, like she just roared off. I actually, honestly, at the time, I looked at a 2006 Chrysler 300, and I looked at a 2006 Charger RT with the V8, the uh, the Hemi, and I found the Charger RT to be slower, it felt sluggish, compared to the, uh, the 3.5 liter. And I found out it's because the 2006 had the displacement on demand, so apparently it ran in four cylinder, or, or yeah, four cylinder motor, whatever, until you got up to a certain RPM or some shit. Okay, come on Hyundai, let's go. I got things. I had no idea that it was Dodd. So sure enough, I bring it back, and the guy's like, what do you think? And I'm like, I don't really like it. It has nothing. It's godless. Like a 3.5 feels throaty here. And he goes, oh, that's because of displacement on demand. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want that. So, like, where's the button to turn that feature off? Apparently there's no button. And I'm upset about that. This guy turning. Yup. And I'm going. Good grass. It's funny, I think about all the different cars I, I test drove. I remember the Cadillac CTS, I wasn't buying that because Buddy showed me the Carfax they did and then I took the VIN and had my buddy do a Carfax and it was two different digits. Like, his Carfax said the car was clean, my Carfax said it was a swamp recovery from Louisiana and the car was rebuilt and sold in an auction and or rebuilt and then picked up by the company that I was going to buy it from and I was like, uh, I knew it was sold in an auction because that's where they got their cars. But it was a swamp recovery, it was a flood recovery. And I was like, holy shit, I don't want this. This thing's been a submarine, what the frig do I want a submarine Cadillac for? So I ran from that, but it had the, uh, like Rex's Cadillac has the 2.8, this one here had the 3 point something, the bigger V6. And it was nice, it was peppy, it had winter mode and all the different buttons, sports mode. And so it would have been a good car if it wasn't a swamp recovery. It was awesome to drive, I loved it, you know. Funny thing is, the Caddy was the same price as this G6. But no, I decided to go with the Super 6. So I kind of lost on that one. I even test drove a couple canyons in Colorado just for funsy. And I really liked that canyon with the five cylinder. I found that was pretty peppy. It was a 3.5 liter five cylinder engine. Apparently all the power of a six with the fuel economy of a four. But I was told it's actually the other way around. It's all the power of a four with the fuel economy of a six. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. It was cool. <sighs> Frigate. Got a Mustang on my bum. Holy crap, bud. Get off my ass. Jeez, that Mustang is riding me. Alright, go grab some folks. Peace out.
the internet is so cocked. It's been commenting on comments and uh, paying bills and other things and internet's cocked big times. But uh, yeah, girlfriend got a package. She told me I can go ahead and open it because it's something for the both of us. So uh, it's from the Lol Mart. So we'll check out what Lol Mart sent us. And let's do it. And that's what they sent us. Kitty cat tie shirts. See, I'll show you hers. Here's a better detail. Nah, tie shirt. And the orange one. It's like my old cat Poofy. It's a cheeseburger video. Alrighty, well, we got a letter here to crack into, so let's friggin' do that. Okay, so the letter reads Dear Adam, my name is Sherman from Georgia, I'm assuming GA. I'm not good with the abbreviated states. Uh, I'm 12 years old. And I love YouTube, engines, outdoors, and mowing yards, and different things. I have been watching your vids for a while now. Your vids are the bomb, like Bill's T. Max's vids. It's really funny what you what happens to you after cheeseburger parties and stuff. I love driving my John Deere tractor. I know you have a Dynamark, or Dynamark, sorry. Um, it's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this letter. Hope you write back. Sincerely, Sherman, YouTube username, uh, S. RK landscaping right on for yeah I enjoyed the letter and you even included some artwork so I see this is kind of funny guys I think it's a, a picture of uh, me and the girlfriend and um, it says keep on vlogging buddy Adam aka Skaven etc and there's me since so a little bit thin for me but it's me the uh, cigarettes are the bomb yeah and there's a girlfriend and she's like I hate your cigarettes <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Right on, buddy. Thanks for the letter. That's awesome. Yeah, I love my Dynamark. It's, um, I, I just can't wait for my lawn to grow so I can mow it, just so I can take it out for a romp. You know, I'm almost tempted to, uh, if I ever get it out of the backyard, to uh, start mowing the neighbor's lawns with it, just so I can drive it more. Because <laughs> that'd be freaking awesome. But uh, thanks big time for the letters. That was Sir uh, SRK Landscaping. And uh, check out his channel. It's already 2.36. I should probably start rendering this vlog up and getting it ready for deployment. Or at least ready pre-rendered, pre, or pre -rendered, sorry. And then uh, head her off to work. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start pre-rendering. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Well, holy shit, at this rate, it'll be done by the time I get home. Maybe it'll be up before... Uh... The vlog goes up. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. Any hoozle, I need to head off to work. I'm late. Not really, I got 20 minutes, but uh, whatevs. So uh, I'm not gonna bother doing a drive to work. So I don't really have much to talk about, but uh, I did do a bunch of ping tests from, uh, frig are my keys. Did do a bunch of ping tests from me to YouTube, and I found that I'm getting about 45% packet loss. And normally, you'd blame your internet service provider. However, in the house, I have a DSL line through the company I work for and a cable line through the local cable co. And both of them were getting about 45, 47% packet loss. So when I did the trace route, I came across a router in the States that was uh, basically hitting really high. And I compared it to a previous trace route. And a previous trace route, I wasn't hitting that router. So sure enough, the problem is, it has to do with that DNS changer virus. Not the virus itself, but the tactics the government's used to uh, basically stop it. So, so well, the way she goes. Well, I'm gonna jump in the car, close the door, and let's go to work. Alrighty, well, it's the first break of the day, and uh, I came out for a cigarette, and so far tonight it's been pretty easy going. So many people buying routers though. We don't configure those. We don't deal with the routers. You bought it, you configure it. If you can't, you find somebody who can. Well, I'll do it on the side if they live in town, but I charge. So, friggin' trying these new cigarettes, the same ones that Bloke smokes, the Canadian classics or something like that. From the reserve, they're like super cheap, but um, yeah, they taste like shit and stink even worse than the friggin' Sagos. And I went and bought two cartons of them, just because they're 20 bucks a carton. Oh, well, whatever. Not a big, big fan, let me tell you. Well, I got about four weeks left, and then I go on vacation. Right on. I can freaking hardly wait. It's going to be amazing. Four weeks left and three weeks off. I'm going to come back to work in September. Nah. What am I going to do with my time off? I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with the flow. You know? Just freaking have at her. Oh, man. 
So yeah, it's, it's been boring at work. I got nothing to update on. Uh, YouTube's still running like a ball bag. You, uh, Billy's having problems uploading. I'm having problems uploading. I have the people I know who are trying to upload are having problems uploading. So obviously there's a major problem, but I'm sure it'll be fixed soon enough. Someday. Anywho, so I got freak all left to talk about. Maybe if I think of something while I'm in the store, I'm going to get a drink, come back and talk about it after. So, friggin', let's go to the store. Yeah, they have this energy by Zions. Friggin' uh, energy drinks on sale. Friggin' love those. They're awesome. So yeah, have a couple of those and get this night over with. So tonight I might upload a little earlier than usual because, um, uh, I honestly have no idea if the vlog will make it up with this friggin bullshit going on like Billy tried I, I, well, like I said I was uploading a video this morning and it was like a thousand minutes and if you do the math 600 minutes is 10 hours so it's almost gonna take me two days to push a 500 meg video up to YouTube the joys of being a Canadian youtuber eh? The moment we cross over into the States we hit a congested router and it just takes a shit so that's what's happening because uh, chat with BitBoy there. And I linked his channel yesterday and uh, he's like yeah I just uploaded a video. He did a Team Fortress 2 with the Team Fortress 2 steam engine uh, video editor thingamajig. He had no problems. His video went up flawlessly. He's like yeah it took me about 20 minutes to upload my video and I was like well that must be nice. It took me about friggin two weeks to push mine. <laughs> Actually uh, last night I'm impressed I made it up. If this makes it up I'll be even more impressed. So, they gotta fix their shit. I'm hoping that all it is is they disabled a bunch of DNS, a uh, bunch of routers, and they propagated a bunch of new routers, and they're making DNS changes, and within 24 to 48 hours, all the DNS entries will be updated on the DNS servers worldwide, and everything will be fixed. I'm hoping that's all it is. That means by tomorrow, everything will be back to normal, and you know, videos will upload fast again and stuff, so I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. Anywho, I should probably get back in there. I'm pretty sure my break's long gone over. So let's head her back inside and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Alrighty, well, it's like 8 o'clock lunchtime. Billy just got his video up to YouTube. Well, maybe not just, but about an hour ago at 7. So from yesterday at 1 o'clock until today at 7 p.m., he just got his video up. Freaking awesome. Not sure what the hell car that is. Well, that's kind of cool looking. It's gone now, for freak's sakes. But uh, yeah, so it took him, uh, he said one and a half days to get a 57 minute video up to YouTube. And sure enough, he gets it up to YouTube and because he was at a social event in Orangeville, uh, the video got flagged for copyright because there's background music, GoGo -Go Analytics server. And this is what pisses me off about that. Even I was a victim of it back on vlog 57 when uh, it was uh, named that 80s tune. And it literally played two seconds of the song I called it and um, got the song right, but sure enough, because the song was picked up by the video camera, yeah, I uh, lost that video to the uh, whoever's running Survivor's records for Eye of the Tiger, whoever's running the monetization for that. I don't know if Survivor still owns it or if it's somebody else or a record label, whatever. All I know is, is that video got picked up for two seconds of copyright. But when somebody big like Shea Carl does it, you know, and I've seen videos like his, where he's sitting in the car, he's got a Katy Perry song or some friggin' other song playing on the radio, full tits, just giving her, but yet you check his video and he doesn't have the, uh, the copyright logo underneath the view count. Doesn't have that, so. Oh, well, I guess it's the way she goes. I guess if I was uh, bringing in more money for YouTube, then uh, I'd, be a, I'd, I'd be omitted from those a lot more, but I'm just a little guy, so they, they gotta dick me around. But, oh well, whatever. That's why I try and keep away from music and stuff when I'm doing my vlogs, because frig, why should I give some recording artist who's already a billionaire more money? Doesn't make sense. But, uh, because I'm still not sure what's happening with the YouTube stuff. And, uh, it's 8 o'clock. I think I might shut the vlog down here, guys. Get it all chopped up and edited up and try and ram it up to YouTubes. It's gonna take a while to go anyway, so I figure that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna shut her down. So uh, you know the routine. If you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. And uh, don't forget to check out the uh, description for all the links. And if you want a shout out, you know what to do. Send me a letter just like Buddy did. And uh, check out the description for his link to his channel. And until next time guys,
keep on blogging.